Hello everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I'm Shilpa and in this video I'll be discussing 7 important subjects you should focus on to easily score 55 plus marks in gate examination. I will also suggest you some tricky topics and how to handle them along with some recommendation towards the end of the video. So let's get to the video. Number one is aptitude. With a very decent level of preparation, it's hard for you to lose marks in a subject as easy as aptitude. Think of questions where they ask you out of 100 students in a class, 50 play football, 50 play cricket and 30 play both football and cricket. How difficult can it be to figure out the number of students who do not play any of the games? The other kind of questions would be to find the relationship. So if they give you that a court is to judge, as a something is to a teacher. Of course, it has to be school. The other kind of questions which could be asked are from verbal ability. Verbal ability is about how much you read and have an inherent understanding of English as a language. So what you can do is you can practice these kind of questions from R.S. Agrawal. Other than that, please make it a habit to read for at least 20 minutes every day because along with your preparation, it helps increase your insight and comprehensive ability. The best option you have to get 15 marks is from aptitude. However, let's take 90% strike rate and assume that we can score 13 marks at least. Okay, so let's remember this number 13. Next, number two is maths. With 90% strike rate, 18 marks are served to you on a silver platter. I'd like to take you through a few topics which can raise your confidence. Number one is proposition logic. All dogs are animals. Given that X is a dog, how difficult can it be to find out that X is an animal too? Linear algebra. Eigenvalues, straight questions. Rank of a matrix, straight questions. To find the value of a determinant, you just have to rearrange the rows and columns. In most cases, the value would be either 0, 1 or certain group of variables ABC, minus ABC or A plus B plus C. Just solve 20 questions on determinants and you'll see there are ways to reduce the determinant to a certain value and they won't be very difficult. Next topic is combinatrix. In combinatrix, you'll have questions from counting principles. There are certain number of holes. You have to find out the minimum number of pigeons so that every hole has at least two pigeons. And it's not that difficult. Calculus. In calculus, there is integration for which you'll have fixed formula. If you can remember them, it won't be very difficult for you to solve the questions. There is differentiation, which again is easy limits, continuity and differentiability. In these three topics, if you understand that you have to find out the left hand limit value and the right hand limit value and try to equate them, mostly you will get answers very quickly. Other than that, the questions which could be asked from calculus are from maxima and minima. Just differentiate the equation, equate to zero, find out the value of the variable and double differentiate the equation substitute this value instead of the variable. If the result turns out to be positive, that means there is a minima. If it is negative, that means it is a maxima. And that is all of it. The next kind of questions asked could be from probability and they would be very easy. You just have to understand that the value of total probability can never exceed one. It has to lie between zero and one. And these two things would mostly help you solve one mark questions. For two mark questions, chances are you'll get questions from bias theorem. So something has happened. You have to find out the probability of the cause and, and that is all of it. So we'll add 18 marks to our previous high and now we have 31 marks. Please understand that it may not be as easy as it seems, but it is not that difficult either. Just solve so many questions from previous years and you'll get the hang of it. Number three is TOC and compiler. If you're planning to leave the subjects as easy as TOC and compiler, please don't and pick up your notes straight away. The best case is you can get a 100% strike rate and without even using pen and paper. There could be questions from the minimum states of DFA, NFA, machines in general, languages and grammars. Along with these, there could be questions from Turing machines and you should not skip undecidability as a topic because the questions could be tricky from undecidability but will always be very easy to score. In compiler design, you have to study parsing, top-down, bottom-up approach. 
there is SDT, which again is very easy. You just have to understand the syntax and how it works. And lately you'll have to study code optimization in which you have to use less statements, less number of variables and apply the same logic. And, and that is all of it. So with a 90% strike rate from six marks, you can easily score five marks adding to our previous 31, which makes our total score is 36 as of now. Next in line is digital logic. Yet another one of the subjects with more scoring questions and about 85% strike rate. KMAP being a very probable topic and then there could be questions from adders, multiplexes, circuits in general, flip flops and boolean algebra. The questions would be very simple and the least you can do is to avoid silly mistakes because the concepts in digital are easy. What happens is you become overconfident and do not care to double check. Please do not do this. Try and practice as many questions as you can and stay calm, stay composed while solving these questions. So with additional five marks, now we have 41 marks with us. The above topics are very easy and are extremely crucial. But if you're looking forward to just qualify gate or get marks somewhere around 40 to 55, or even if you're a third year student and you're just preparing for the next two months and then giving this exam, in that case, these four subjects are a must do. The next three subjects are slightly tougher than the previous ones. But again, with proper strategy, with proper preparation and knowing which topics you should focus on, you can score marks in these subjects as well. Data structures, 70% strike rate and the correct intuition behind a structure is all you need. See circular linked list, for example. You already know that if a list has to be circular, the last node has to be connected to the first one. That means there has to be a pointer in the last node, which is not null. Trees, the pre-order, post-order, in-order traversal of these trees. You just have to find out the correct position of left, root and right node. And, and that is all of it. That is all you need. Just go ahead, solve 10 questions and check. You'll trust me when I say that if you have a good level of preparation, if you have studied well, your instinct will guide you through all of these questions. And 70% strike rate on eight marks means we are on 46 marks now. DBMS. The data says for most students, 65% is the strike rate. That means out of eight questions, three questions have to be done wrong for 65% strike rate, which means we'll get nearly four to five marks. But honestly, tell me, will you do three questions incorrect in a paper that asks you questions as simple as ER model, M in relationship, lossless join, FD preserving, normalization, SQL, and I can go on. Of course not. To make three questions incorrect, either you are not focused enough or you haven't prepared well the subject as you should have. And that is the only case where you can get a 65% strike rate. Otherwise, you'll do the questions correctly. Practice is the key here. Solve as many questions as you can and try to get as many correct answers as possible. And that is it. Oh, and before we move ahead, we have 50 marks with us and the list of subjects is still long. Number seven is my personal favorite, operating systems. In operating systems, you'll get questions from scheduling, sync, deadlock, file structures, memory management. In deadlock, there could be one mark questions as simple as finding the minimum number of resources you need or the maximum number of processes that the resources can handle without getting the system into deadlock. So in operating systems, it's not very difficult to score marks if you've practiced well. All these are the topics which can one, maybe less accurate, but two, and more importantly, can help you increase your strike rate by practicing well enough before the exam day. So yeah, there we go. We have 55 marks with us. Let's have some reality check on one mark versus two mark questions. Of course, it is understandable that one mark questions would be slightly easier than the two mark questions in the exam. So if you're unsure with two mark questions, I would recommend you to skip it if there is negative marking involved. After completely preparing the above subjects, what you can do is you can pick up some easy topics from the remaining subjects. For me, it would be computer networks. You can prepare TCP, UDP protocol, email protocols, subnetting, and then yes, you should prepare CIDR 
because in today's industry it is a very relevant topic and the exam can test you on that definitely any topic you know more of or have prepared better is actually helping you to increase the accuracy rate not just that it can help you increase your marks to 60 65 70 80 and 80 plus so my advice is keep practicing the topics along with that continue revising keep solving questions we wish you all the best for your gate examination and you can let me know in the comments below if you need any other video related to gate thanks for watching bye bye